Welcome to Makerspace URI's Cookie Cutter Workshop. This is the second in a three-part video series on how to create all of the objects you see here. This video will focus specifically on creating the sweater cookie cutter, so let's get started. In Adobe Illustrator, we will be using a vector-based silhouette and offsetting the line pass to later be extruded in Rhinoceros 3D. To start, use your selection tool to select your object and switch your fill and stroke color. We will then be going up to Object, Path, and selecting Offset Path. Set your offset to a small number like 0 0.05, click Preview to confirm, and then click OK. You will notice that we have a few extra lines here. To delete these, we will need to use our Direct Selection tool. So click off of your object, go up to the white arrow, and then select those line paths again and click Delete. We can then return to using our whole selection tool to select the next line path to offset. With our line path selected, we will repeat the steps we used before by going to Object, Path, and Offset Path. We will choose a slightly higher number this time, like 0.1, click Preview, and then OK to confirm. At this point, our line paths are ready to go, and we can save our file and move into Rhinoceros 3D. Go to File, Export, and Export As. Change the file format to an AutoCAD interchange file or a DXF file, and type in your desired file name, and then click Export. We will keep the scaling as 1 to 1, and click OK. We are now ready to move into Rhinoceros 3D. In Rhinoceros 3D, we will be extruding our line path straight to create our three-dimensional cookie cutter. To start, select our two inner line paths and go up to Solid, Extrude Planar Curve, and Straight. We can adjust the height manually, or we can type in a specific number, like 0.5, and hit Enter to confirm. We will then repeat this process with the outer curves. Select both of them, go to Solid, Extrude Planar Curve, and Straight. This time we will type in a slightly smaller number, like 0.25, and hit Enter. Now if we change our perspective view to a rough render, we will see what our 3D model will look like. The last thing we need to do is join our two extrusions together by selecting Boolean Union from the toolbar. We are now ready to save our file. Go to File and click Export. We will be saving the file format as a stereolithography file or an STL. Type in your desired file name and then click Export. The tolerance will stay 0 0.01, and we will keep it as a binary file and click Export one more time. You are now ready to move to your favorite slicing program and start 3D printing.